bro, look at my diamond bag build. This hits hard. Oh shit! Yo, bro, two million armor with Ace. Jesus, it seemed like I deleted your Division Two character, bro. Are you okay? God damn! Oh shit! But before we start today, I just want to let you know that we have some sponsored ads. And if you don't have enough time or good teammates or you don't have teammates at all, but you still want those beautiful raid items, best DPS builds and any weapon in general, you can use service of dwing.net. They have one of the best teams in getting highest gear and completing the most difficult achievements and on Xbox team is amazing and they will complete your order twice as fast than before. The service has been working for a very very long time, there are a lot of satisfied customer reviews and of course ton of payment methods. You can check everything by yourself and with my promo code RBD you will get 15% discount on your first 5 orders. So guys, if you don't understand something, how it works, or you have questions, just type in your messenger and operator will reply immediately. Also, you can check Destiny 2, there is a lot of Destiny 2 items as well. Agents and even so rifles got nerfed, but still we can get pretty cool damage numbers And this is my best diamond bag build with no doubt And in this one you can use basically any rifle you want and look at these beautiful numbers Oh my Mamma mia, this gun will give you crazy damage numbers on PvE and also PvP side And my second gun of course is FAMAS <laughs> yeah, boy. And agents, FAMAS has been always top tier gun in the game and look up for in sync and optimist talent. Trained is not that good when your gun has high fire rate. My third gun is backup boomstick shotgun, it has also quite dope damage. For mask I'm using Coyote Exotic Mask and this baby will provide my team with extra damage. So guys, let's get to the chest piece. We can use glass cannon, spotter or headhunter. Each of these talents has his own purpose. I will explain everything guys. Spotter works really cool when you use pulse and decoy. You can find your enemies and flank them very easily. 
Second option for PvP would be glass cannon. Again, you should then you should use maybe shield and uh, again pulse. Decoy is not that good because you will receive a lot of damage. So shield, you should use shield and headhunter guys. It's more for PV side. You can stack such amount of damage. It's insane. Headhunter in this build will be for PvE. For PvP, you have two options. Glass Cannon. Glass Cannon is really dope when on your team has healer. Glass Cannon will work. If you don't if you don't have healer, stick with pulse and you're gonna you will be just fine. As you saw for backpack, I'm using Providence backpack with Vigilance. Perfect fit would be there. Perfect Vigilance. But I don't have God rolled backpack, so I'm using normal Providence backpack. For gloves, I'm using Walk and Harris. As well for chest piece, this will give me two piece branched bonus with damage, uh, weapon damage, and damage to armor. For specialization, I'm using a sharpshooter. And guys, don't forget to use sharpshooter grenades because you can easily make blind enemies in dark zone and in conflict. It's those grenades are really really handy. The radius for those babies are quite huge. So so don't be shy and use them. And look at my numbers. Look at that headshot damage and crit damage. I have and guys, don't worry about crit chance. On Diamondback, it's not a problem because we have that beautiful talent. Basically, uh, all shots will be like crit shots, and especially after reload, first enemy will receive those crit shots. So, guys, use this talent wisely. Of course, in this build, you could use maybe one MA rifle, classic. Like I said before, rifles received nerf. But still you can push rifle builds to decent damage numbers. Guys, I have to be honest, I'm not rifle guy. So this is not, not uh, I would say this, is, this build is not for me. But I know a lot of the agents love to snipe and uh, play from distance. So this is perfect combination with gear and talents and Right now you're gonna see damage difference in numbers. I will show you how you can, uh, what numbers you will get from Spotter and Vigilance. And in second test I will switch things up and I will use Glass Cannon and again Spotter. It's really easy to understand you. Like I said, this is the way how you should test any build. And please don't trust me or other YouTubers just go and test everything like I am doing right now and you see Glass Cannon gives me insane numbers and with this one I think I could one tap Anyone basically I can two tap two million armor with headshot and with glass cannon You can do insane amount of damage and guys if you use one MA classic rifle You could use uh, that with insane talent switch for uh, Tactician specialization use that uh, laser pointer attachment to activate spotter and you are ready to go guys oh and please leave a comment have you experienced this kind of glitch in DZ and conflict I'm tr I try to shoot my friend in the head and my aim just flies up to the beachy drone have you experienced that shit because in vital moments in hard fights in PvP and DZ this can mean a difference between life and death and it can be so annoying and I, quite frankly I receive this glitch quite often and I don't know wh why my aim is flying around like crazy with those drones so leave a comment have you received that kind of glitch box error I don't know, I don't know how you can call it and guys forget about my giveaway Leave a hashtag butcher giveaway and be subscribed to enter in and uh, as you know as reward in the end of the month I will announce three winners three lucky bastards who will receive game of their choice it doesn't matter it's on this gen or next gen like cyberpunk which I am waiting or maybe doom 
internal and stuff like that, Red Dead Redemption, it doesn't matter, and on any platform. So agents, thank you for watching and see you in my next video.